All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about my favorite EDC knives of 2023. This one's been a little bit difficult because if you guys have watched the EDC side of content on this channel, you know that I have added a ton of knives to the collection. I probably started off with maybe, you know, 15 to 20 knives in the EDC rotation or in the EDC collection when I first kind of started out. And, um, I have since added or grown up to over 55 knives. So there's a lot of knives that I would love to talk about, but these are probably like the top six. And even at that, there are so many that I would love to add and talk about more, but realistically, I'm going to restrain myself and talk about these ones specifically. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first off, probably starting off the year pretty strong was the Protec Strider SNG or Auto SNG. This is one of my favorite knives um, of the year that I collected or got in the collection. I don't EDC it too, too often. Um, just because I have a ton of EDC knives. This one does make it into the rotation, but this is a knife that I honestly have wanted for a long time, and it took me forever to get or track down one of these auto SNGs. They're not very easy to track down, and they're not particularly expensive, as I've talked about in previous videos. You know, they're not like the most expensive knife out there. They're just hard to get because they are very desirable, so when they come up for sale, if you are not super fast or super quick about getting on one, the chance of you missing your shot is very high. So the auto SNG took me a while to get. And originally last year, I was trying to line up one, but I finally ended up picking one up this year. So anyways, let's move on to the next one. So the next one for me is the Chris Reeve Knives Omnimzon. Now I originally wanted the Nkosi, the Sabenza, and the Omnimzon. And the Omnimzon was the last one that I added to the collection. I actually added the Nkosi and Sabenza previously or in previous years, but um, this is what I, I I picked up for this year and this is a Tonto version of the Omnimzon which is my particular preference for the Omnimzon and this one is an CPM S45 VN. Once again fairly elusive knife to get. They're not super super expensive but cheap by no means. So these guys are usually you know not super cheap knives not super expensive either but pretty cool knife and definitely happy to have an Omnimzon in my collection. And this is one that initially when I got it, I was not like super stoked about it. I wasn't like over the moon excited about having an Omnimzon in the collection, but it really has grown on me. And I do actually like the Omnimzon quite a bit for a bunch of different reasons. All right, next one is going to be the TRM Shadow. The TRM Shadow is a pretty elusive knife. It's not super easy to get. I am happy to see TRM is making more drops of these in different Micarta and G10 handle variations, um, but this one is pretty cool, and it is definitely cool, if for no other reason, to see more American-made, um, essentially Axis Lock-styled copycats out there that are still very well-crafted, this one included. I will say, aside from it being an axis lock, essentially, or crossbar lock, it also just has really good ergos. You can choke up on that blade. It's very Borka styled, for those who know Borka blades. Um, this is very Borka styled, and so, or almost like a, you know, Microtech stitch. It has a very similar lines and like similar blade styling to it. But of course, it is its own knife, and so it is pretty cool. After that, we have the ABW Model 1, and this is the Born Cliff with the Ultem handle scales, and of course, Magna Cut blade steel, but this is a pretty cool blade as well, just a very well-made um, CNC machined blade. So these guys are pretty cool. Once again, very similar to, you know, our TRM kind of knives. This is a smaller American manufacturer, so I love seeing them. I've talked about it at nauseum before, seeing, you know, cool, smaller scaled um, American American manufacturers really cranking out high quality knives like the ABW Model 1. So I do love this one and EDC it pretty darn frequently. Okay, next two up are going to be Emerson's and no doubt I have collected a lot of Emerson's. I would say of brands in particular, I have probably added the most Emerson's of any one brand in the collection 
to date. And so going into the year, I had my original Minicom and Horseman. So I had two Emersons. I have since added five more Emersons, bringing up my total to eight Emersons. Of course, this one and the one we'll talk about in just a minute are new additions to that, of course. So this is the full-sized Commander. Now I wanted to add a full-sized Commander because I really do love my Minicom. And so I saw a full-sized Commander up for grabs and knew I had to have it. Next to that is the Emerson Bulldog. The Bulldog is a newer addition to me, um, but this one is really cool and I think it blends, it's a very funky and very unique because it blends the kind of handle shape of a Minicom, but it also blends it with a hand, or blade kind of, not necessarily size, but blade styling of a CQC7. So it's a very unique kind of just weird mashup because you have that very like chisel ground um, CQC7 styled Tonto blade with a very nice, very comfortable handle. And of course mine is in the Thunder Wash or Thunderstorm finish, something like that. It's their DLC that's been stone washed. And so it's very cool, very unique blade overall. And I do enjoy EDC this one quite a bit as well. So really been adding a lot of Emersons this year. And like I said, went from two all the way to seven. So I've been adding quite a few. Another one here that is not necessarily a part of the list officially, but the Elvia I just have lying around here because I really like it. Um, but yeah, so the last two are the C, C <laughs> are the Emerson, two are the Emerson Commander and the Emerson Bulldog. Both pretty cool blades in their own rights and definitely enjoy them. And like I said, pretty cool blades overall. So I do enjoy my Emersons quite a bit. And yeah, that's basically my top six. It is definitely tough to pick just six because I really do enjoy all of my blades. And like I said, I've added so many more than this to the list. Um, these are just kind of covering some of the highlights throughout the year of knives that I added to the collection. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.